Inverness Police, Constable Boyle speaking. How may I help you? Uh-huh. I see. Yes, ma'am, I see. Now, when did you first notice the items were missing? He's back. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I think today's the day. Today, sir? I have let this go on long enough. Today, Sergeant. Good luck. Yes, ma'am, I heard everybody said that we're sending a man over straight away. I am sorry, Mr. Randall. You know, I'm very, very sorry. Please, believe me when I say I wish there was more that we could do. Well, that's your job. And perhaps you could do that. I know this must be disappointing to you. Disappointing? It's an interesting word. It suggests expectations that were unmet. My expectations of your department were, were low to begin with, and I can assure you that you have met those expectations at every turn. We have spent the past six weeks searching over 100 square miles of rugged terrain, conducted 175 interviews, invested, invested over, over 1,000 man hours. I know the litany, detective. Tell me, what do you have to show for these, for these efforts? My wife has disappeared. Do you have any idea at all what might have happened to her? We haven't found a body. Now that tells me that she's probably still alive. No blood in the car, no sign of a struggle. Now that tells me that she probably wasn't taken against her will. Yeah. Your favorite theory. You personally witnessed a man staring up at her window the night before she disappeared. I have said from the very beginning that the Highlander is certainly involved in some way. Of course he's involved, you fool. He's her lover, and the two of them left together. My wife is not with another man. 